what is going up guys so I hope you guys are all having an awesome day today we're gonna to be talking about positions and sizing kind of how many stock how much stock to buy on a trade um all right so let's dive into it here so you know up on the top left here we have a l q a here this stock was very volatile today kind of choppy as you guys can see it you know, had some opportunities but you know if you use my setup as the gap and go there is definitely a pretty good chance you would have found some type of success on this um, you know buying at that resisting that resistance level setting stops probably somewhat below this uh, 20 moving average line but all right so let's dive into how would I know how many shares to actually buy well this is a hundred percent dependent dependent on your account size and how much you are really willing to risk because Pretty much, if let's say you have a thousand dollar account and the stock is, uh, you know, three dollars and thirty five cents at its high. So let's just say to three dollars. So let's see how many shares we could actually buy. And the reason why we would have to figure this out is because we we don't want to buy all of the shares, you know, at once. You don't want to be buying hundreds of thousands or thousands of shares if you can't afford it. So pretty much. If you'd go all in on this trade, you'd have around, you know, 333 shares at that $3 mark. And pretty much if you would have set your losses at, let's say, uh, 10 per or not 10%, around 2%. So 2% of that would be 2% of $3. So let's say $3 is right here. Can't get it lined up. All right. So here we go. Let's get that. All right, so two percent. Let's pull up our drawing tool and see where we ha would have taken our two percent loss at. So around around here, which that is actually fairly decent risk to reward. You know, if you'd have bought in at pre-market um, highs, you know, setting your stops around two percent, it you know pretty much it would have most likely you would have had some type of success on it, but why would you not go all in on a stock uh, there, there's many reasons why not to it's very fast to blow up your account and you always want to make sure you have uh, some type of stop loss whether it's a hard stop and a hard stop is pr very simple it's pretty much when you um, have it in the system to actually uh, set a stop or use a mental stop when you just pretty much have that sell button um ready to rock and roll and the, how you do that very simple you just pull it up here um and this is the you know how much uh you are willing to risk here but so yeah so a lot of it has to do with risk management and how much you are r pretty much r willing to risk on a trade you know if you have a thousand dollars and you're willing to risk ten dollars you know you you could find t some type of success with that and setting you know Profit one at around five or seven percent. Profit two, uh, you know, at ten to eleven. Profit three to around fifteen twenty. Scaling out on your trades, and you know, another thing is you never really want to, you know, starting out you're gonna have some type of difficulty because often you're you, you can't afford. Uh, a large account meaning you can't afford to to you know risk a whole lot because you're, you're gonna be nervous and emotions are gonna get to you so what I recommend doing is start small work your way up and a lot of people that have money starting out will end up losing it because they don't understand their sizing and that that's very very big to trading because there's been times where I've looked at a stock that's three dollars, and I I don't see good opportunity. I see it falling off, and I see it slowly pushing its way up. And if I just want to test the waters or try to kind of get in and see what see if I can you know make something happen. If that's say if I wanted to test the uh, this 90 moving average line as some type of support, which it did hold up pretty well. You know, if let's say I wanted to test it down here, 
then I would have found some type of you know support on this and if I would have set my stops right below it, if I would have bought in at it you know I could have like I said found some type of support without getting stopped out and that has to do with you know si you know sizing your stocks and uh, your positions because if you ha if that's say you have a five thousand dollar account and you take a no let's say you have a three thousand dollar account okay so you can you you're you know you can really take a thousand dollar position on this stock here okay so you're in a thousand shares at three dollars right and you're new to trading so it begins to dip down during this area you are gonna get very very nervous because and really this is only gonna be two percent right here so you will hundred percent get stopped out on this stock hundred percent if you'd have bought in here and well if you understand positions and sizings if not you'd have been fine if you were to test the waters and when you're testing the waters you can set your stops a little looser you know you can set them you know at you know maybe five percent because you're just testing the waters you're not risking a whole lot but the you're risking you know more uh, when you have a larger position and when you're just testing the waters you're you're willing to risk you know that's say a hundred dollars on a trade that could possibly bring you a profit of that say five to six hundred dollars and you can always scale in a trade meaning it you start buying when it's moving up and then as you know you start getting some sell off you start selling off it's very simple but a lot of people don't understand um, un don't understand position sizing it's not too complicated pretty much just you know risk management and uh, how much you're willing to risk on this certain stock you know two two or three dollar stock you can buy more shares and I always recommend starting out with around 300 to 400 for new traders and once you begin to understand um, the movement of these types of stocks then you can actually you know sc <laughs> scale into a trade with a thousand or fifteen hundred shares because you you people see all these profits of a thousand or two you know two thousand dollars but that's probably only three percent of their trading account because they have such large accounts that when a stock is moving like this they can scalp trades and you know pretty much convince people that they're making a whole lot of money when they are pretty much just you know using their account size uh, for them and there's nothing wrong with that but they don't understand uh, sizing very well but yeah so that's it though I hope you guys enjoyed this video please try to like subscribe comment if you're new remember to always stay happy stay positive and I hope you guys have a fantastic rest of the week and you know a good weekend here alright take care everyone